So yesterday, a kid in one of my kindy classes brought in something to help me prepare for my big haircut in a couple of weeks. Apparently it was originally part of her big brother's Professor X costume from Book Week, which P.S. that is going straight to the top of my list for costumes for next year. Here's a glimpse into my future. Hi everyone, so one of my kindy girls has very kindly brought in this bald cap so I can see what I'm gonna look like with short hair. Have I got all my hair in there? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And then, here we go. So when I get my hair cut, I might look something like that. What do you think? Is it good? Yeah. I'm assuming I still look very handsome. Is that right? No. No? Oh, that's a shame. But thank you very much for bringing this in. It's good to be warned. All right, I'm going to take this off now. So anyway, that's that. Um, in case you've missed my last few videos, on September 12th, I'll be shaving most of my hair, not quite like Professor X level bald, but I will be shaving my head for the Little Legs Foundation in support of childhood brain cancer research. And so far, you guys have just been extraordinarily generous. Like my original target was $10,000, which seemed crazy, but we smashed it in like 48 hours. And so I raised it. And so the next target was 20,000. And at the time I'm recording this with 11 days still to go until my big shearing, we're at like nineteen and a half thousand dollars so thank you thank you everyone who has donated but if you haven't made a donation yet and you would like to it's a fantastic cause you should get involved so i'll put a link in the description if you're watching this on youtube or in my bio if you're watching this on instagram or wherever you are there's a link somewhere find it donate it's an awesome cause i did promise that when i got to twenty thousand dollars i would show you guys some photos of the christmas day where i got my hair horribly all shaved off i still haven't found those photos yet maybe they're there are none, that wouldn't be too bad. Here's one I did find of me with a sweet bowl cut, which is another option I can explore in my new life as a shorter haired man. I also said last week that I had an important fashion question for you all, and I do. It's about these overalls. I wanted to get overalls for like a long time. I don't know why, maybe it was just because I got into Chance the Rapper and saw that a grown man can look cool in overalls which maybe that's not every grown man. So for ages now, I've been canvassing support for the idea of me getting some overalls. But every time I ask someone if they think I can pull off overalls, they're like, as a joke? No, not a joke, as a very serious wardrobe item. Or they just like look at me with this deeply sympathetic look, like they're about to tell me I didn't get into the next round of The Voice. And they're like, mm, very sorry, but it's a no from me. But then last Monday at school, it was dress as a farmer day and I knew my moment had come because no longer was I buying these overalls on some misguided fashion whim. I was buying these overalls for work. And let the record show that when I went across the road in my overalls to get a cup of coffee that morning, the person behind the counter did not ask why you dressed up as a farmer. She just looked at me and said, oh, not going to work today? Almost like I was wearing a completely legitimate grown up man's outfit. So anyway, hashtag OOTD, I'm throwing it open to you, the people. Should I or should I not continue wearing these grown up man's overalls as part of my regular wardrobe? Full disclosure, if you tell me no, I'll probably still do it because these things are super comfortable. They're like jeans that go all the way up. Hang on, I just got a text message. Who's it from? I know, I'll check my handy top pocket and find out straight away. Why are we all not wearing these? I will be back soon with another fundraising slash hair shaving update. Also, I was thinking about doing a question video. Some of you have been leaving questions in the comments. So if there's anything you want me to answer, ask me a question. Meanwhile, if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel and get all of these updates right to your feed, you can do that here. Here's an amazing head shaving playlist with all of my amazing head shaving videos. And I will see you next time.